In this world, there are rich and wealthy. But there are also the richest and wealthiest. Some people's wealth is worth recognizing. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we bring you the richest billionaires in the world. Click on subscribe for more videos. Here are the top 12 billionaires in the world as of 2023. Number 12, Larry Page. Larry is a board member and controlling shareholder of Alphabet, the parent company of Google. He is also a co-founder of Google with fellow Stanford PhD student Sergey Brin. Together they invented Google's PageRank algorithm which powers the search engine. Page was CEO until 2001 when Eric Schmidt took over and then from 2011 to 2015, he became CEO of Google's new parent firm Alphabet. At 50, Page makes the list of richest billionaires with a net worth of $79.2 billion. Number 11, Françoise Betancourt Myers and Family. Françoise Betancourt Myers is a French businesswoman, philanthropist, writer, billionaire heiress, and the richest woman in the world. You heard that right? She and her family own around 33% of L'Oreal stock. Her mother died in September 2017 after which her fortune tripled with her investments through her family holding company, Tethys Invest, and the high valuation of L'Oreal shares on the stock exchange. She has been part of L'Oreal's board since 1997 and is the chairwoman of the holding company. She is 70 years old and has an estimated net worth of $80.5 billion. In the 10th position, we have Steve Ballmer. Steve is an American billionaire businessman and investor who served as the chief executive officer of Microsoft from 2000 to 2014. The same year he retired from Microsoft and he bought NBA's Los Angeles Clippers for $2 billion. The 67-year-old billionaire makes the list of the top 10 billionaires in the world with a net worth of $80.7 billion. Coming in ninth is Mukesh Ambani. He is an Indian billionaire businessman. He is currently the chairman of and runs $110 billion in Revenue Reliance Industries, which has interests in petrochemicals, oil and gas, telecom, and retail. Ambani is leading Reliance into green energy. The company will be investing $80 billion over the next 10 to 15 years in renewable energy and building a new complex next to its refinery. Sometimes characterized as a plutocrat, he has attracted both fame and notoriety for reports of market manipulation, political corruption, cronyism, and exploitation. Mukesh Ambani has a net worth of $83.4 billion, making him the second richest person in India and ninth in the world. Eighth on our list is Mexico's richest person, Carlos Slim Helu, and his family. Carlos Slim and his family control America's Mobile, which is known for being Latin America's biggest mobile telecom firm. With foreign telecom partners, Slim bought a stake in Mexico's only phone company, Telnex in 1990. He also owned stakes in Mexican construction, consumer goods, mining, and real estate. Carlos Slim and his family own one of Latin America's largest conglomerates. With a net worth of $93 billion, they make it to the list of richest billionaires in the world. In seventh place, we have Michael Bloomberg. Bloomberg was the co-founder of the financial information and media company Bloomberg LP in 1981. He owns 88% of the company which is valued at $12 billion. Michael Bloomberg is a major philanthropist. He has donated more than $12 billion to gun control, climate change, and other causes. 81-year-old Michael Bloomberg has a net worth of $94 billion. Number 6. Bill Gates. William Henry Gate III is an American businessman, investor, and philanthropist best known for co-founding the software giant Microsoft along with his childhood friend Paul Allen. He turned his fortune from software firm Microsoft into diversified holdings including investments in zero-carbon energy. When Bill Gates stepped down from the Microsoft board, he still owned 1.3% of the software and computing company's shares. He has invested in many companies and is one of the largest owners of farmland in the United States. 67-year-old Bill Gates is sixth on our list with a net worth of $104 billion. Fifth on our list is no other than Warren Buffett. Also known as the Oracle of Omaha, is one of the most successful investors of all time. At 92, he runs Berkshire Hathaway, which owns dozens of companies, including insurer Geico, bakery maker Duracell, and restaurant chain Dairy Queen. Warren Buffett first bought stock at the age of 11. He promised to donate over 99% of his wealth to charity in 2010. He and Bill Gates encouraged other billionaires to join them in donating at least half of their wealth to charitable causes. He has a net worth of $106 billion. 
Coming in fourth position is Larry Ellison. He is the co-founder, chairman, and chief technology officer of software giant Oracle, owning 35% of the company's shares. Oracle has grown through the acquisition of other software companies. In 2020, Larry Ellison moved to the Hawaiian island Lanai, which he bought for $300 million. I know that's a lot of money. Ellison still owns about 15 million shares in the electric carmaker company, Tesla after sitting on the board from December 2018 to August 2022. 79-year-old Larry Ellison has a net worth of $107 billion. Time to bring out the big guns. The third place for richest billionaires in the world goes to no other than Jeff Bezos. He is the founder, executive chairman, and formal president of e-commerce giant Amazon, the world's largest e-commerce and cloud computing company. He stepped down as CEO to become executive chairman in 2021, owning a bit less than 10% of the company's shares. Jeff Bezos is the owner of the Washington Post and Blue Origin, an aerospace company developing rockets. He briefly flew to space in July 2021. According to an interview with CNN in 2022, Bezos said he plans to give away the majority of his wealth in his lifetime without disclosing specific details. This wealth in question is in totality $114 billion. Bezos was the wealthiest person in the world from 2017 to 2021 according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index and Forbes. Number 2, Elon Musk. This list wouldn't be complete without Elon Musk. Elon Reeve Musk is a business magnet and investor. He is the co-founder of six companies, including electric car maker Tesla, rocket producer SpaceX, and tunneling startup Boring Company. His company SpaceX, founded in 2002, is worth $127 billion after a funding round in May 2022. This value has quadrupled in three years. He created the Boring Company with the aim of defeating traffic. This company raised $675 million in April 2022 at which time the company was worth $5.7 billion. In that same month in 2022, Elon Musk decided to buy Twitter at $44 billion after he threatened a 9.1% stake and threatened a hostile takeover. After closing the deal in October 2022, Musk now owns an estimated of 74% of the company. 52-year-old Elon Musk earns his place as the second billionaire in the world with a net worth of $180 billion primarily from his ownership stakes in both Tesla and SpaceX. The richest billionaire in the world position is claimed by Bernard Arnault and family. Bernard Arnault is a French billionaire, business magnate, investor, and art collector. He is the founder, CEO, and general overseer of the LVMH empire of 75 fashion and cosmetics brands, including Louis Vuitton and Sephora. LVMH acquired American luxury brand Tiffany & Company in 2021 for a large sum of $15.8 billion. This purchase is believed to be the biggest luxury brand acquisition ever. Arnold's holding company Agash backs venture capital firm Agley Ventures which has investments in businesses such as Netflix and TikTok parent company ByteDance. At 74, Bernard Arnault has a net worth of $211 billion. According to Forbes, nearly half of the list is poorer than a year ago, including Elon Musk, who fell from number one to number two after his pricey purchase of Twitter helped sink Tesla's shares. Bernard Arnault takes his place as the world's richest person. This is the first time a citizen of France leads the ranking. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell for more videos. Thanks for watching.